Hi there, this is Pastor Rob from First United Presbyterian Church. I'm here today to tell you about a very special thing that's going to go on at our church this coming Sunday. It's World Communion Sunday, and so we're going to celebrate communion together, and we're going to have a focus on the larger church, talking about the love that we share both within our church and within the church across the world. We are collecting a very special offering this Sunday. It's the peacemaking offering. And the monies that are collected towards this additional offering go towards peacemaking efforts all around the world. Now, 25%, though, of what we collect stays right within our congregation, and we are asked to be good stewards of that and to look out into our community and to try to identify a place where peacemaking is going on, where hope is being brought to dark places. And we've had a wonderful relationship with Project Compassion, an amazing ministry right here in our own community. They have been running a self-esteem camp for young ladies during the summer within the walls of our church. And they do amazing things out in the community, running some very important homeless ministries. Last Sunday, the head of Project Compassion, Rachel Jackson Bramwell, came to our worship services and told us a story about her experiences going out and ministering to the homeless. I want you to hear this story, maybe hear it again if you were in worship last Sunday. And after you hear this, I think you'll understand why we're asking you to bring something in addition to that peacemaking offering. We'd like you to also bring toothbrushes and toothpaste. And we're going to collect those, put them in the offering plates, and, and watch the ushers try to juggle offering plates filled with the offerings as well as all those toothbrushes and toothpaste. Here's Rachel Jackson Bramwell speaking to our congregation. Good morning. Um, I am back again. I was here earlier this summer. Um, you all partnered with us to do a fabulous program called Imagine Me, which was a huge success. And uh, we were able to service a lot of young girls. Um, but today I stand on behalf of our original program, what actually was the start of our existence. And it's what we call Compassion Day. It's the one day out of the month where we prepare food and hygiene supplies and we take them out to the homeless. Volunteers sign up and they come out and they go with us. Um, when God called me to provide for the need or to help those in need, really didn't quite understand that call. I just answered and said, okay. But once we got out there, it was just really thinking that we were getting ready to bless the socks off of people with um, sandwiches and hygiene supplies, and then we'll come back to Belleville and prepare again to do it. We would travel from Belleville down to East St. Louis, down through Brooklyn, Illinois, down to downtown St. Louis, and come back. Two years in, the line changed from just men and women to children. And I noticed one Saturday was a, in the back of the line was a woman with two children that had gotten out of a van. And I motioned for them to come up because I definitely wanted the kids to get a sandwich and a hygiene kit. And the little boy came forward. It was two little boys, but the one in particular was eight. And I asked him his name, and he told me his name was Jacob. And I said, Jacob, because I had gotten the honey buns and the PB&J that I had made. And I knew this kid was getting ready to get hype on sugar and just be happy for the day. And so I offered him a honey bun, and he said no. I offered him a juice, the Kool-Aid Capri Suns. He said no. So then I offered him a sandwich, and he told me no. So I said, Jacob, what is it that I can do for you? He said, I want a toothbrush. So I turned to the volunteer and I asked, I said, could you get him a toothbrush? And he stood there and he waited and he waited and he waited. And the toothbrush came and I gave it to him and I said, well, Jacob, not only do I have a toothbrush, but I have toothpaste. And you would have thought I had given him a pot of gold. And his face lit up and I said, you're very happy to get this toothbrush and toothpaste. And he said, what is your name? And I said, it's Rachel. He said, can I pray with you, Rachel? Because I told God if he was real he would send me a toothbrush because I was being teased and taunted in the schools. At that moment, what I thought was me just providing and servicing the need suddenly made me realize that we were giving hope and making a difference and being a blessing in the lives of not just ourselves, but those that were truly in need. So whatever you guys give, I am humbly grateful. But I challenge you to at least give $1 because that's how much it costs to buy a toothbrush from the dollar store. And when you give, don't think about just Project Compassion, but there are a lot of little Jacobs out there on that street now. 
will be eight this year, and I've seen a lot. But he's the one that pierced my soul, and he led me to know that we weren't just making a difference, but we were actually helping others believe in Christ. Because by giving, they were then putting their faith and hope into what they couldn't see, but through the acts that we were doing. Thank you guys for having us back again, and thank you for being such faithful community partners to our organization. I look forward to seeing many of you this Sunday with your peacemaking offerings, but more importantly, with a whole lot of toothbrushes and a whole lot of toothpaste. God bless, and see you Sunday.